good morning guys i'm in my closet right now but i'm about to head out and go pick up gaston which that's my dog name he's away i have to go to walmart because i think the leash that i got for him yesterday is a little too small and then i also need a blanket for him because the bed that i got for him is too big for his crate so i'm just gonna get him like a little soft plushy blanket to put in this crate for now so yeah let's get him. here we got stone we're going for a walk uh he pooped in my car <laughs> on the way home from the shelter he pooped in my car and I had to pull over and clean him up. <sighs> yeah, that's our first meeting. Turns out the crate that I got for him is too small, so we'll need to go get him another crate. Yay, so much fun. And I'm literally whispering in my room because Gaston is downstairs and he's been howling and crying. And you finally be quiet. I don't know how long that's gonna last for and I don't know if we're gonna be able to sleep tonight <laughs> we're scared <laughs> to talk to wake him up I don't think he's asleep yet but hopefully he goes to sleep because I'm tired okay oh my god did you sleep good you was one in there last night huh you got us up at the crack of butt You gonna poop? Huh? You gonna poop? You're not gonna poop? Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. <laughs> I feel like you guys are probably sick and tired of seeing me looking the same way. But um, I'm taking him to go get groomed because he is scraggly, okay? He is very scraggly and um i just want to get like the shelter and the dog smell off of him because i'm not gonna let him on any carpeted areas or any furniture until that happens he hasn't even been upstairs and i don't want you know because he kind of has like a i talked to my friends about this and i was like how do i get rid of like the dog smell i would hate for somebody to come to my house and smell like dog everywhere so i am going to take him to the groomers they're gonna make him look really really cute um and hopefully get that smell off of him he did i did get him his flea and take medication on monday so that's why i haven't been able to take him to the groomers or get him showered so now his flea and take medication is in and i have everything his vaccination records and everything so we're just gonna go do that today um last time that we did this in the car he got really sick and he pooped in the car i'm hoping that was just anxiety and not car sickness the groomers is close by they're going to give him the works clean him clip his toenails file him they're gonna groom him and he's gonna get to play and all of that so i'm hoping he enjoys it <laughs> You smell good. <laughs> All right, Thank so you. she said he did pretty good. Okay. You know, I'm a little scared. Okay. A little unsure of how things go. Okay. But she said he did pretty good. Okay. So, the more you bring him in, the more uh, happy? the the better he'll he'll do. Okay. Yeah. You're getting yourself tangled, buddy. I don't think he. Like that. I think it was just more of the little shaky shakies and being nervous. All right. All righty. I'm back. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Come on, baby. Can I take a picture of you? Can I take a picture of you? You're on a short leash, buddy. Because you do the most. Your name should be do the most. Look how good you look. Brand new dog. Alright, guys. Good morning. Today is day... What's today? 
I think today is Thursday, so it's day four. So he's over here. He's being a little bad today. <laughs> okay, I'm well, not gonna say bad because, to be honest, I've watched so many dog videos that I think I know when a dog is being bad, and he's definitely not a bad dog. Um, he's just chilling right now, but he was so hyperactive this morning when I let him out of his crate. Um, I was maybe about 10, 15 minutes late from letting him out, and he was going nuts. Like, he was jumping on me, I mean, really high. Like, he almost touched my face, and I am not a face licker. So, he was really, really excited. I took him out for a walk, and he peed. I put his food out, he ate it, he drank some water. As you can see, his lower legs are ready to come at me right now, but I have some work to do today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to tire him out just a little bit. I'm going, he has his toy right there. Um, so I'm going to use that and like a little ball that I have. And I'm going to try to exercise him in the house. Um, thank God my floors don't get damaged by him like kind of sliding across them. So we're going to exercise him for a little bit. I don't give him like a ton of treats because I want him to respond to my commands without needing so, so many treats to do so. So I start with teaching him with a little bit of treats. And then we move to no treats, so. You wanna flip? Come back. Look, that's so sick. Good job. Good job. Hey guys, I'm just upstairs in my filming room filming a video. And guess who's here? Oh, can you guys see him? He's right there. Just hanging out um he just likes to sit next to me so i bring him up here when i'm doing my makeup and he hi guys i wanted to share these wipes that i've been using on gaston that i really really like these are from um tiger they're the up and up brand of the organizing wipes so um well a little bit my husband and i are a bit of clean freaks <laughs> We want Gaston to stay clean also. Whenever he goes on a walk, and when he comes back in, we make sure to wipe his paws with this. So we wipe him down with this. Um, I also like to wipe his nose because obviously, I don't wipe his nose with this. I just wipe his nose with um, a regular cloth um, because obviously he's smelling everything. But I love this to wipe down his, um, his paws and then wiping down his fur. And then it makes him smell really good. So I just thought I'd show you guys this. Good. You ready to come out? Were you crying? All right, let's get you out. You're gonna be super excited, aren't you? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Get it out, get it out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Morning routine here. Okay, okay, okay. That's about enough. That, <laughs> that almost hit my face, bro. I put about, um, he ate yesterday around eight. No, no, that's not no. Uh, so I put some more food in his bowl and he eats about that much. And then the way that I know he's really done is when he walks away, cause he never walks away from me. Um, if he walks away from me, that's how I know he's he's done eating. He's not interested anymore. Um, and I really don't like um, for his food to sit out. So I'm just going to put it away. And um, we're putting him on a schedule so that he's used to this. So whenever we go back to work, he eats in the morning. And then he'll eat again um, at night. So he eats twice a day. So that's kind of the schedule that I have him on. But his water always stays out if he needs it during the day. So... That's that, and um, he's about to go to the vet here in about an hour and 30 minutes or so. He has to be there at 10, so yeah. So we are at Gaston's first vet appointment. He is a bit of a nervous poop, so hopefully that doesn't happen, right? You're not going to poop, right? <laughs> right, Gaston? Let's go. So Gaston just came back from the vet. He got a clean bill of health. He is 
one healthy, not a puppy. He's a man now. He's a grown dog. He's a grown dog. So he's completely healthy. They recommended nothing. The only thing is he's still very, very nervous and he nervous poops. So he pooped at the vet as soon as we got there and then he pooped on the way out from the vet. So, uh, but I think he might've eaten. They might've given him something to eat at the vet and that might've caused him to poop again because um, when he's at home, he doesn't poop like that. Well, he hasn't pooped at home yet. So let's keep it that way. Are you gonna go potty? Huh? He loves a good bush. Gaston loves to pee in a bush. There he goes. He's not even peeing. <laughs> You're such a faker. <laughs> oh, you are. Never mind. My bad. But he really likes to pee in a bush. I'm coming. It's food time. It's food time. It's food time. Gaston and I are getting ready to head to Target to pick up an order. Um, so he's been doing really, really good. Honestly, I can't have asked for a dog that matched my personality better he's a couple of issues main issues that i still have with him is eating he's not eating or finishing all of his meals especially breakfast he has a hard time finishing his breakfast and um, number two are going to be car rides car rides he's still very freaked out by them i'm trying to make as many positive car rides as i can because i noticed that every time that i put him in the car i was going to the groomers or going to the vet nervous pooping so he's nervous pooping all over the place if he goes somewhere where he feels threatened or he feels he feels scared he will poop so we're still working on that and i think that there's not really much i can do anything about it the vet just said that he just has to get comfortable with me and know that he's not going to be hurt or abused so because i have never had a pet before ever 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 i had a fish and they all died within three months they were there he is so i find that putting him in his bed uh, calms it down a little bit more it if not he's gonna be like all over the place and those little sharp nails are gonna be digging into my seat and we cannot have that so he's right over there let's go see you guys later bye